Hey, this is Danny, the channel's you and me living free. I'm just doing an intro for my video. I actually shot it uh, over a week ago, but uh, you can see I'm not in my van right now. I'm on a great big comfy couch, but that story comes later. Right now, I wanna tell you about Salida, Colorado. Uh, we'll do a little pit stop there so I can show you where to go for Wi-Fi and that kind of thing, where to stay overnight and that kind of thing if you wanna know. And then I'm gonna really do a little pitch on Salida because I fell in love with this little town. You can do more than pit stop there. You can stop and stay a while and have a great time like I did. Okay, this just gives you um, a general idea where it is. Denver is at the top right-hand quadrant of the screen, and then Colorado Springs is about two hours south of Denver, and then a couple hours southwest of there is Salida. Right in between Colorado Springs and Salida is the Royal Gorge, if you take that southern route uh, that the video or that the picture was showing, so definitely do that. The whole drive is beautiful. You're driving through the mountains like this, so you're not driving where my fear of heights did not come into play because you were really driving kind of in the river valley almost the whole time, which was delightful. This, t this small town is packed with so much charm. It is touristy and there are a lot of tourists that come through, but the small town charm is also intact. And that really separates it from some of these other places that I have been um, that I haven't been so wild about, like um, maybe Moab or maybe Jackson Hole, things like that, because this has still has a small town feel and charm to it. Um, and it maintains that even though it's touristy. This is a picture from inside the Salida Pharmacy and Fountain, and you must go in here if you're at all into fountain drinks or like the um, cream soda, the, the actual real old versions plus ice cream. Um, anyway, if you like any kind of dessert, just go in there. In addition to the kind of small touristy downtown area, this is just out on the main kind of uh, state highway that runs all over everything. It connects everything. So if you're in here for a pit stop, this highway connects Walmart and your laundromat and uh, the library is only a few blocks off and McDonald's and everything that you need is right off this highway. And I did, a, I did this whole 360 around Walmart just to show you that yes, you're in an ugly parking lot, but you have mountains literally at every view. There is not somewhere that you can look and not see mountains close up or in the distance. And uh, th this town, delightful is what comes to mind, but this town was just awesome. So everything was so conveniently located. Look at their library. This place is not only beautiful, but again, it has that charm and that kind of small town feel. You walk in, there's all this woodwork and everything. And this is the area where I would sit and plug in my computer and everything. There are actually lounge chairs there in the back. I would sit in a lounge chair and do my work. You can easily pass hours in this beautiful little library, and I did. But I'll tell you what I didn't do in the library. I didn't upload videos or download things to my Kindle to watch later. And here's why. <laughs> the internet speed at the library is slow, slow, slow. It's just fine for streaming. It's just fine for doing my, my work and things I needed to do. But when it was time to upload a video or download anything, I went to McDonald's. And this was the view from McDonald's, which isn't bad, you got to admit. So McDonald's is the fastest internet in town. There is no Starbucks here. So you want to upload and download, you go to McDonald's. While I was at McDonald's, I made friends with these wonderful regulars who are there every day, older retired folks that would keep me entertained and talk to me and were so friendly, but it just is part of this whole town's uh, small town charm and appeal. Okay, I'm gonna let some pictures and video run while I just tell you. So, pit stopping in Salida is a wonderful idea. Number one, the gas is just the same price as it was in Colorado Springs. It wasn't marked up at all because you're out in the country. So gas is good. Uh, the car wash was decent. The laundry was good, except here's the thing with the laundromat that you need to know. Go in the morning because there is no air conditioning at the laundromat. 
There's no air conditioning at the laundromat. It was clean, it was efficient, but there's no air conditioning, so go early to the laundromat. The Walmart there was perfectly, perfectly uh, wonderful. I got all my, my food and everything cheap, which I love to do. And then for internet, again, go to McDonald's instead of the library, and you will be fine, only the library is so great for ambiance because, you know, McDonald's gets loud and obnoxious and annoying. So these were pictures from uh, the river. So downtown in Salida, there is a river that goes through. I think it's the Arkansas River. And there was so much fun right around here. There's a great big park here. And I cannot believe I spent so much time in this park and did not get more pictures or any pictures of it, literally. So sorry for that. So Salida is the whole picture. Go for, um, if you're on your way somewhere else, definitely stop there and spend a few hours. There's a delightful park that was just to the left of this. This place is surrounded by mountains. It has all the convenience within five minute drive. The last video I showed you, I told you about one of the best free camping spots I have ever had. And that was only 20 minutes or so from Salida. That is on iOverlander. It is called uh, Shivano Mountain. And you'll see it if you're looking at the picture from iOverlander, you'll see Salida. And it is up to the north west of town like 20 minutes and there is some of the best camping i have ever seen i will um, put in a little a little 360 view of my campsite here so you can be refreshed on that i yeah, fell I in that. love with this town and since i started traveling over a year ago you know people ask me what's my favorite place and where would i like to live and this is really look at that look at that oh my gosh uh, this is the only place that really comes to mind where I thought I could actually live here year round. These are just a couple of pictures. This is someone's yard. This is actually literally in town, only like a block or two from the main street. And these deer were just sitting in the yard. I don't know what the backstory is. I'm sure there is one there, but, um, I just thought it was a wonderful, special little thing to capture. So there you have it, Salida, Colorado, cannot be missed. I put some more sunset pictures at the end. This place had some of the most gorgeous sunsets I've ever seen. And I want to say, of course, thank you, thank you, thank you to anyone who is still listening right now. Let me know if you stayed for those sunset photos at the end. And to my patrons, extra special thank yous to you for that extra support. I love you. Um, I love you, everybody, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.